Ari Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. All right. Bahashem, which means in the name. Yahawashai, that's the name of the only begotten Son. All right. Bahashem, in the name. Racha Kodash. All right. Which is uh, Spirit Holy, the Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS, peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And uh, this is the book of Ezekiel. And I pulled it up in the uh, NIV. Okay. And um, I just want to see what it said. Okay. So, if I, uh, you know, how it... Uh, how it was worded here um, versus how it is worded in the KJV. So, because I was trying to get the word for uh, for most desolate, okay, because in my margin, when you get to most desolate in uh, verse two, verse three, okay, at the end, the last line, it says desolation and desolation which we'll get to that all right but uh that's why i pulled it up here and it was i like the way it reads here also okay so um without further ado let's get right into it and as the heading says all right a prophecy okay pro meaning before facade meaning to say against edom okay now, what we're doing out there on the highways and the byways is just what this scripture is talking about, okay? We're prophesying against Edom, okay? We're out there telling the nation of Edom or uh, the descendants of Esau, okay? The so-called, starting with the elites, okay? The small hats, okay? The so-called white man, okay? The ones that are running things. Even the low six pack, you know, regular Joes, them too, okay? But it's mostly going to the top, okay? All right. Um, put this over here. Okay. Let them tell, because they're the ones that are running it, okay? They're the ones that are orchestrating. All these abominable things in the earth. Okay. And we're telling these nobles. Okay. These so-called nobles. All right. That the Heavenly Father has a, 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 a future indignation that he's going to pour out upon you. And he's already pouring out his indignation. But ultimately... He's going to wipe you out. Okay. The Lord is already pouring out. His fury. On Edom. Okay. So. But we're telling them that you're going to be totally annihilated. And in this scriptures. Okay. It's going to tell you. Uh, why. Okay. Now. Check it out how cold the Most High is. He set Edom up, okay, as a punishment for us, all right, for being disobedient, for, for breaking the agreement, okay? And at the same time, okay, he's going to render out a, a judgment to Edom, okay, for... Doing just what he set them up to do. How is that for all loving God? Okay. Let's get it. This is Ezekiel chapter 35 and 1. It says, the word of the Lord came to me. And I'm reading out of the NIV. All right. This is from uh, Bible Gateway. It says, a prophecy against Edom. All right. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Mount Sair, okay, which that's Edom, 
All right, now get a quick scripture. Let's go to the book of Genesis. Put these on. Okay. Let's go to the book of Genesis. 36. Okay. Dang darn it. All right. Salakia. Okay. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 36 and verse 1. It says, Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Okay. The Edomites are the descendants of Esau. Okay. The Israelites are the descendants of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Okay. Let's jump over to verse 8. It says, Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Sire. Esau is Edom. So, Esau is Edom. Esau dwelt in Mount Sire. So, when we go back here to the book of Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, and the second verse, where it says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Sire. That's who it's talking about. Because see, even here in the NIV, it says a prophecy against Edom. Okay? But in my scriptures, uh, it's a God's judgment against Mount Sire. So even with that, you can still clearly see who this is talking about. And this hasn't happened. It's going to happen. This is a prophecy. Okay? Because Esau is still thriving okay going strong and so are his cities okay um or his his city rather okay and his uh rulership also over the whole earth okay um so where were we all right uh the word of the lord came to me Son of man, set your face against Mount Sire, prophesy against it, and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Mount Sire, okay? And I will stretch out my hand against you and make you a desolate waste, okay? Now, um, in my margin for... Uh, because here in uh, the KJV, let me read it. It says, verse 3 in Ezekiel 35, it says, And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Sire, okay, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And again, in my margin, it says, Desolation and desolation, okay? Uh, verse 4 I will turn your towns into ruins and I will to lock you into ruins and you will be desolate then you will know that I am the Lord okay Um. so let me read that here in verse uh, 4 in the KJV I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And in the whole world is gonna know, man, who the Heavenly Father is. They're gonna the world is gonna know the power of the Lord. And every knee shall bow. Okay? All of the BSing and game playing, all that's about to be gone. And the earth is gonna be restored. Okay, it's gonna be refreshed. Okay? Our people are going to be cleansed, okay? And these heathen, they're going to love it. Except for you, Esau. Because ultimately, you're going to be done away with, okay? But your rulership is coming to an end. This is what we're telling you. Thus said, y'all, Bashem, y'all, Shah. Let's keep going. All right, uh, verse 5. Because thou has, because you have, Salakia, slow down, Jake. 
because you harbored an ancient hostility and delivered the Israelites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax. Now, let me read that verse 5 in the KJV. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And then in the margin, it says, or a hatred of old. Okay. So, what's this ancient hostility? It really go all the way back to Cain. Okay, just, but now it went, it, it went. Uh, to Jacob and Esau, okay, because that spirit of Cain is the same spirit that's in Edom today. He was a murderer from the beginning. He abode not in the truth. He is a liar. He's the father of it. Okay, I'm quoting uh, 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 St. John 8 and 44. Let me grab it. I don't want to butcher it up. No worse than that. Where the Lord told uh, wicked Israelites, he was telling them, you are your father the devil. Let's read it. This is the book of St. John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Now this is ultimately talking about Cain. Okay? But that same spirit is in Esau, Edom today, man. Okay? He's the devil. He's the deceiver. El Diablo. Okay? It says, He was a murderer from the beginning and abode down the truth because there is no truth in him. As the uh, Habakkuk says, His soul which is lifted up is not upright. He's, he, and he can't be right. For all of our knucklehead ass people who think they can love this devil into loving them back, he can't be right. It's not in his spirit to be righteous. He, is, he was set up to be just who he is. The wicked. Okay? That spirit, that's the spirit of wickedness. That's the spirit, the spirit of Cain, the spirit of Esau, Edom, is the spirit of the wicked. Okay? Uh, because there is no truth in him, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. That's all this bastard do. Part of that perpetual hatred is lying to us about who he is and who we ain't. And he still got that going. Perpetual, ongoing. Okay? From way back then, he lost the birthright. Pissed. When our father passed, I'm going to get you, Jake, Jacob. And he's hated us ever since. Yep. But, like I said, or as the, even the scripture says, and that's why two-thirds of our people got to go, man. They lost in the, uh, the, uh, that Christianity delusion. Love, 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 love. All love ain't balanced. That ain't balanced. And you ain't getting love. You putting love in, but you ain't getting love back in return. And never have. And them ones you think is Edomites that is actually doing you some good. Them actually Jake that look like Esau. Our people don't understand. That's... And that's part of it, man. Our people have no understanding of these scriptures. And why? Why is this? Why is that? 
The only way to get the answer to why is to get the understanding of what this word is talking about. This understanding gives us the answer the, to why is everything the way that it is. It also tells us, you know, what happened to get us where it is now, okay? And it also tells us the answer to what is going to come, what, it is, what, this, what the near future holds. This is part of the, the, the near future. He saw his judgment. And once he go down, then a, a righteous kingdom is going to be set up. Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Second Peter tells us that the kingdom of heaven is going to be a righteous kingdom. Now. And in the new covenant, we're going to be perfect. No more suffering, no more sinning, no more sinning. Because what sinning brings death and not everything else. Okay? We're going to be made to be, uh, we're going to be made to where we can't not break these law statutes, none of them. Ain't that something? That's, that's going to be joyful. That's joyful. Uh, let's go back. All right. Uh, so we were in verse 5. It says, because, thou, because you have, because you harbored an ancient hostility and delivered the Israelites <laughs> over to the sword, at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax. Oh boy. It's climax. Let me see what it's saying here. Yeah. In in the KJV it says, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay. But you just kept going. You just keep going, man. Okay. And I got a lot of precepts written right here, but I'm I'm just want to stick to this for time's sake. Okay. Let's uh keep going. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, okay, I will give you over to bloodshed, and it will pursue you. Since you did not hate bloodshed. Bloodshed will pursue you. I will make Mount Sire a desolate waste. Okay? Ain't that what the scriptures say? That this place is going to be no longer inhabited? Okay? This place, the only thing that's going to dwell here is desert creatures. This place is going to be left as a memorial. Okay. The uh, the place of America. This bitter place. Okay. This, the, the land of our captivity. Also the land of the greatest deliverance. This, this altar. Okay. This great sacrifice. Okay. Is going to be destroyed in an hour. And we see the build up to it too, man. It's thick out there. Like they be having that one cat, he be spraying his hair. Oh, they squabbling out there. Yeah. It's real out there. These other nations, they they had enough, man. Eat them, you're done. Better yet, fuck them. But the Most High is going to use them. The Most High has said, that's it. Okay? The Most High is visiting in this place, man. Your sins have reached up to the heavens, man. You have a tab that you're going to have to pay with your ass. Okay? You done wrote a check that your ass couldn't cash. Okay? Esau, eat him. Let's read some more. Uh, therefore, as I live, and I'm in the KJV, 
Ezekiel 35 and 6. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Okay? That's all he do. Is go around shedding blood. How was this place acquired? Really the whole world, man. Because his blessing is the sword. That's how he acquires things, man. Just like ancient Rome. You gotta, you gotta say that. Okay? By the sword. By the shedding of blood. Okay? Then this is Rome revised. Okay? This is that image. This is the likeness of Rome. Okay? And it's going to go down in a, a, a fashion that put that to shame. Okay? The scriptures say it had been more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right? Um, let's see. Verse 7. It says, and I'm back in the NIV. I will make Mount Seir a desolate waste and cut off from it all who come and go. I will fill your mountains with the slain. Those killed by the sword will fall on your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines. Now, let's get that verse 8. Uh, and I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations. You see, this place will never... Never, ever, once it's destroyed, that's it. It's going to be perpetually. See, your perpetualness, what you're doing, Esau, is going to come to an end. That's what this prophecy is about. It's still going right now, but the Most High is going to put it out. Then your desolation will be perpetual. Okay? Since you want to be perpetual... <laughs> You're going to be perpetually destroyed. It says, and this is beautiful news. This is good news. And this, you think, you know, with a really with a carnal mind that our people would hear this and praise the Heavenly Father and His Son. But the Most High made it to where they could. Okay? So once you have the understanding, you know why Jake don't. Jake don't want to hear this song, man. Jake want to hear the songs that are of the world. They like uh, being cloned. <laughs> like on that movie, they cloned Tyrone. When that music came on, Jake was in a trance, man. Okay? And they rather stay under the vibration and the trance of this world, you see, than come under the vibration of righteousness and, and try to get right with y'all by Shem Shai before this happens. But Jake gonna be right joined in with them and they're gonna receive the same judgment, okay? As far as the, destru the being destroyed. But they'll be back in the kingdom. But it ain't going to be no little smooth transition like, oh, the missile's going to, the fire going to blow through and I'm gone. Nah, man. Mm-mm. It's going to hurt. Okay. Um, Let's see where we were. Uh, let me finish verse 9 and we'll close. If the spirit say the same. Ezekiel 35 and 9. I will make you desolate forever. Your towns will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Again, man. Uh, let me read in the KJV. 
I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, so with that, I'm going to close. Lord willing, this was edifying and uplifting. All right, because it definitely is uplifting. Okay, to know that the Most High said Esau is going down forever. Okay, and he's going to put us in our righteous order. That That's uplifting. Okay, because this ain't it, man. This ain't it. Anybody thinking this is it in any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion, man, they are out of their goddamn mind. Hey, with that, I'm going to say Charlotte Warren.